split down the middle, um, you're just going to grab a section towards the front and you're going to split it into two and you're just going to twist them around each other. So I grab that one and twist it underneath and with my thumbs I grab hair to intertwine it into those um, rope twists and then you just grab the one further back and twist it underneath the one um, in the front and you're continuously gathering hair. I use my thumbs and my index finger, um, I pull it underneath so that I can help grab the other side and pull it under. And you're just continuously going to twist it. It's, it's a really easy little um, rope twist. The reason why it's probably a French rope twist is because you're grabbing hair and you're continuously intertwining it into the braid until you finish grabbing all the hair there is to grab. And we aren't going to completely um, rope twist this all the way to the bottom because we're going to tie, or um, I should say knot them into buns. Uh, but you're just going to stop about midway and you're going to rubber band that off. I use one of those little black elastic ones. You're going to try to tie that off as close to the nape of the neck as possible. And you're going to make sure it's fully secured and really tight. So that it doesn't get in the way when I'm um, rope twisting the other side, I'm just going to tie this up in a bun um, after I pull it through the ponytail. And for the other side, it's the exact same thing. You grab a section, split it into two, and just twist it around each other, bringing the lock of hair um, closest to the back of your head underneath the lock in the front and you're continuously grabbing here. Again, I use my um, thumbs. It just helps me um, since I'm, my thumbs are already in the area. I gather it into that lock of hair and you're just continuously intertwining them all the way down. It's a really simple and um, really fast uh, braid, but it looks much more complicated than it really is. just going to tie it off again but I do um, braid it a couple inches past the nape of my neck only so when I am um, in the process of tying the rubber band around the braid it won't loosen in my hands. actually going to tie our ponytails into knots in order to get them into buns. So to do this, you're going to pull out your ponytail in the air, extend three fingers, wrap that lock of hair over those fingers, and then you're going to hook the hair and twist it underneath. And then you're going to push your thumb in the hole so you can pinch the end of the ponytail and pull it through. And with that end there, that lock of hair that extends, you're just going to tuck it underneath the bun and you're kind of going to hide the end so they don't flop around right there. And you'll just use um, bobby pins to pin it in place depending on how many you need.
So for that knot, you're going to pull out your hair in the air, extend those three fingers, wrap it around, and then hook your hair underneath and just twist it. And then pull your thumb through so that you can grab that end of the lock of hair and pull it into the other side. And for the end here, you're just going to tuck in that last um, extension of hair just anywhere underneath the bun and you're gonna secure it with bobby pins. I think about three or four work well for me but of course if it feels floppy enough you'll just have to pin down the sides and I do like to have it um, just slightly uh, fluffy not too tight on the back of my head. I am just checking to make sure that they're, um, they're not too, too loose and they're going to be secured the whole day. And I hope you like this video. Um, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.